I just can't believe I'm here. Life's good. Life is good. I just came to New York to get a tattoo. I feel like this New York trip was a much needed getaway Far away from my home, from what I knew, from what was familiar I don't really feel safe or at home in the place that I call home And I also feel stuck and like life has way more to offer I'm sick and tired of rehearsed lines I needed this trip to get away from the me that wasn't me, that I didn't recognize. To get back to my old self, full of drive, love and passion. Show me possibility, freedom, talk to people, get to know them, their stories, show me new places. And it gave me all that and more. The countries I wanted to travel to still have their borders closed, so I needed a reason to go somewhere else. So when I found myself in the biggest rut I have ever been in, with no motivation, losing myself on Instagram for hours, scrolling, I saw a tattoo of a Chinese stamp. Created by a YouTuber slash tattooer I've been following for some time, and I instantly fell in love. I knew I wanted that piece of art on my body. It was just on me to find a female artist that did them in a similar style. I am starving and I felt like it, so today's dinner is shin ramen. And I'm so excited I'm gonna enjoy this with some K-drama. I just knew that I also wanted a lucky cat because I've always had a fascination with them and it connects me to my late grandparents who taught me the beauty and sparked my love for the different Asian cultures. And of course, to remind me of how lucky I am. Can you feel the air right now? So to anyone who is playing with the idea of traveling alone or waiting for the right people to come along, just do it. Especially if you know the language or basic English, which I guess you do because you're watching this video, there will always be people glad to help you out anywhere. Of course, sadly, there are areas and countries you should not travel solo as a woman and you should always, always, always be careful when interacting with strangers, but I trust you know the rules and what to do to minimize risks. It's too cold. Oh, just look at everything I do. I'm suffocating myself. I'm not safe. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not safe, huh? I'm lost at sea, drowning. Wake me up, help me. Today's kind of a late start for me. I just got ready and this is my outfit. I'm really feeling like fruits and like 
tea, black tea, so I'll go find that and I don't really know what I want to do today because I don't feel like doing anything today because I have not been sleeping that well. My plan for today is actually just chill, maybe go to the Central Park, go to Muji because I really want to just journal and I didn't bring anything and I knew, need a new pen anyway. I think this is our plan for today and maybe I'll go for some cheap Chinatown food later or cook at home. I get another slice of pizza because that pizza last night it was really good. So yeah, let's go. I woke up today, I was like really not in the mood to do anything so I literally just did what I felt like doing which is just having my fruit in the central park my view is amazing and also I had this queer fantasy of like partying in New York and going to all those gay bars I walked around a bit yesterday and I really don't feel safe enough to go partying on my own in New York like I would go I, w I would definitely go if I had some people that I really trusted and knew I just can't believe I'm here Life's good. Life is good. say traveling and exploring new places is definitely a big hobby of mine and with everything that happened over the past few years I definitely felt like I have been kept in a cage just waiting to fly again so this was my opportunity and I took it to my tattoo appointment my day had out a little bit different than I planned to because my night yesterday was actually what I was hoping for but it was also very different from what I expected in my hair I was almost late I ran to my bus and I would have like I stood in line for tattoo bagels but that has to wait for later because there was such a long line and the wait was like 25 minutes and I didn't expect that but it was stupid of me because it's like so popular but I will get my bagel later. I didn't eat yet. I had some soy milk and um, I have my water. I have to pee. What's new? I'm almost there and I'm really excited. I'm a bit scared, but yeah, I'm mostly excited. I hope it's not gonna take too long because I will literally pass out and die. <laughs> Show me all the big boy bands How you flipping houses with each front sand Show me all the compound boys Money making money, new day, new brands Tell me where that wealth at I'ma try to melt that Tell me cause Oh my god! It's done, it's done uh, It's done! And now I am starving It's 2.30 and I haven't eaten today <laughs> Hello from another grass slash park shot with my bagel. Um, this day didn't go as planned at all. I was so late this morning, even though I stood up early enough, but I guess I was just slow because of sleep deprivation and everything that happened yesterday. And I'm serving right now, so I'm just gonna dig in. I got, um, because I couldn't decide which one I wanted, I got um, vegan sundry tomato spread and spinach artichoke spread, so I'm really excited. Oh my god. This hits the spot. I was actually planning on filming like a whole cute get ready with me and make this a bigger thing, but there was like no time 
and brain capacity to do this this morning. I'm sorry that I'm speaking while I'm chewing. I am just really, really hungry. I'm gonna enjoy this now. I actually don't know what I want to do afterwards. This this went by so quickly. She took an hour for like the whole thing. It's crazy, but I'm so happy with it. So I've changed my mind again. I was at a place I wanted to get dinner, but as I said, I changed my mind. I'm going to a different place, which is like five minutes away, seven minutes away. And I hope I don't pass out until then because I'm starting to shake more and more. Day today was very good. I met a really nice girl in the cafe and um, I was so happy to hang out with all the puppies and there was so many French Bulldogs and I'm obsessed with French Bulldogs. But yeah, I think I'm almost there. Gonna have dinner and then I'm gonna head home. Guess what? The dumpling place I wanted to go to is closed, of course. I don't know what to do now. During this trip, I also wanted to unlearn some bad habits and learn to let go of control. I have to be honest though and say it only worked a handful of times and mostly at what I would deem not the right times. Still, I allowed myself to make mistakes and reflect and grow from them, which is something I don't usually do. Even though, as I am an overthinker, I still regret some of the money decisions, I know it will come back eventually. So after all, it made me continue to learn about myself and grow even more. Traveling solo gives you the chance to stop and breathe in your own time. Wander the streets, look around and follow your gut to explore the most beautiful places you wouldn't have found otherwise. You might meet more people because they randomly approach you as they're also looking for company. They might show you around, mention their favorite places in the conversation you're having, Crazy. This looks really good. or simply tell you their story. And you'll have and take the time to listen. I'm getting so fucking fed up It's getting hard to keep my head up I wish for once you would let me win I'm sick and tired of rehearsed lines As I am about to embark on a new journey and chapter of my life, 
I am full of anticipation and continue this excitement and I just want to say thank you to everyone I've met and to New York. To me, the most romantic city I've been yet. I'll be back. And your expectations killed me, but my girl came back to say, I think you're. Is this the outcome?